It's a different level of writing right here. I don't know. Am I wrong? Yeah, he definitely he definitely painting a picture. He's it's, putting it's, the picture. It's, 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 it's definitely a vivid picture being painted here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another reaction here at Three Shades of Whatever. Thanks to another donation from a fantastic sub. We got Joyner Lucas back with us. Oh. Ross Capiccioni. Say that three times fast. Ross Capiccioni, Ross Capiccioni, Ross Capiccioni. Well, yeah, whatever. Forget about it. Bada bing. Bada boopy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh. Okay, this sub gave me a little bit of something and said this is a fantastic storytelling because she knows how much we're into storytelling. Mm -hmm. And that's why we got this one. So. I am fully in to see where he goes with this because if it's a good, you know, you guys know here, that's why I love Ren so much. I love the storytelling. I don't want just, you know, period, eh. 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 No, God, please, no, no. It's the dumbest shit ever. This is beyond dumb. We need a okay. word for that. I am going to address something here real quick because I keep saying it in the comments, where's Greg and Jamie? Where's Greg and Jamie? If you're asking that question, where have you been? That question has been answered multiple times. In the comments. In videos. Multiple. Multiple. Okay? Okay? They're my boys. They had to go. Look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain something to you. When I came up with this channel idea, I never expected to have people sitting on this couch with me regularly. I just figured, I, you know, I, I, I wanted to try something out because, you know, it was the pandemic. I was bored and I was like, right, fuck it, let me right. do something. And then I, I talked to Jamie about it, and he was like, yeah, you'll be into doing it. I'm like, fuck it, let's do it together. Then Jimmy came along. He wanted to be a part of it. I was like, all right, let's do it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? I already had the name because I was going to go by Billy Whatever. Right. So I wanted to react to Three Shades of Whatever, like whatever. It just turned out that we ended up having three people on the couch, and then all of a sudden, the Three Shades was related to three people. Right. It's not what it was meant to be originally, but, you know, it became that, so whatever. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but then, you know, Jim had to go because of his job was making him do overnights, and he just didn't have the time to be here. So then Greg gets on the couch with us, right? And over time, life gets busy for them. You know, Greg's an ER nurse. Jamie was studying to become a nurse. He was, you know, a, a CNA. And now he's actually going back to nursing school. And if anybody's out there gone through nursing school, you understand that he is going to have zero time to be here. It just is what it is. Greg is becoming a travel nurse. He's got to go like fucking 600 miles away for six months. He can't be here. So to keep the channel going, I'm going to keep bringing in guests, keep bringing in my boy Snook here. This is my new dude. He's going to be here with me regularly. And we're going to add people in here and there and have people sitting with us. And sometimes it'll be me alone. Sometimes it'll be here with me. Plus the third shade right now, you know, is my boy Jay, who's doing the movie reactions with me. So we're going to keep it here right now and keep doing what we're doing and just keep pushing forward. So uh, hopefully you're here to stick with us and enjoy the journey because we're here to have a lot of fun with it. Other than that, stop asking in the comments. <laughs> Oscar Piccioni. Oscar Piccioni. Yeah, that oh, one. That guy. Yeah. yeah. True events. Oh. Detroit, June 6th, 2007. For. Got dressed to head out and ride to school on my skateboard New kid in class, I sat alone taking notes While the hoodlums were making jokes at the clothes that my mama paid for Seemed like gay worm was a part of some gang invasion Tattoos and initiation, parole and some on probation Soaking up the vibe as I study for information Cause lately I've been deprived of a normal day But today on my way to eat lunch, some kid approached me He told me we should be cool if only he got to know me Cause on the side of town I would need some protection It's crazy reckless and dangerous unless I'm some sort of gangster I'm only safe with the police He said his name was I dapped him up at the buses Was kind of skeptical about him at first Cause I didn't trust him and the more I got to know him I couldn't tell what his motives were Hoping that he was sincere Something told me let go But the only thing on my mind was patience Searching twice for a different life I was tired of waiting Plus me and 
It has similar views and conversations infused with knowledge Mainly about school and college, that was my truth But regardless, he was type cool when I was with him Introduced him to my family, they were rocking with him My mama told him, make sure you look out for my son And before she could finish his sentence, he quickly just interjected And said, don't you even stress that I got it under control It's been two months since we met, it seems like we've gotten close Some cat approached me and tried to beef with me, I just froze And I see... Pound and a stomp at home, he rid out his clothes Called me his brother and told me he got me to the fullest Even if that means bullets, bullets, gangs, AKs and choppers to the killers That's the realest shit I ever witnessed A few weeks later, my uncle sold me a Honda Civic A 93 with no license plates and no registration Just thinking about every place I'ma go when I finally get it And then he asked me for a ride around the block Some distance from where I was parking Instantly I knew that spot was sketchy, my mama would kill me My intuition told me not to, I knew it was wild And plus I knew it had no business a place on the side of town And I read about some chick who went lurking without a sound And got murked and a body found in the dirt With a thousand rounds of what's worse than abandoned builders Abandoned villains and scammers and killers Provoking gangsters But maybe I'm overthinking Maybe I might be straight just as long as I pump the brakes And try not to think about it Just trust I'll be fucking safe And then I told him let's go Hop in He dabbed me up Started telling jokes the whole ride there Had me cracking up as we were getting closer I felt funny I'm caught up I'm caught up Oh my god, my eyes are burning. I haven't yeah, blinked. I'm following the story, man. Holy he, shit. He, story. He up in school and, and, and met somebody that just kind of befriended him and took him under his wing. Took him under his wing. My uh, eyes are burning, bro. I, I don't think I blinked that whole fucking time. I, it's, 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 almost, it's almost like I can already read ahead into this story. I can see where it's going. This shit is like... There ain't many people that rap like that, man. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. And try not to think about it, just trust I'll be fucking safe. And then I told him, let's go. Hop in. He dabbed me up. Started telling jokes the whole ride there. Had me cracking up as we were getting closer. I felt funny. My stomach turned. And then he told me, go left. Make another turn, go right. And drive slow as I look. It was all abandoned and quiet. Not a single person in sight. And nobody standing in right. When I pulled the car to the side, he said, right here, sit still. Turn the car off and chill. And I start to panic. He told me, relax. Then he pulled the keys out the ignition and hopped out and laughed Then my light flashed in an instant He inched to my driver door and I tried to lock it I couldn't, he ripped me right out my seat And then grabbed the side of his jeans And then put out the shoddy and all I heard was a screech And he shot my arm into pieces I'm thinking I must be dreaming And another shot to my chest And my stomach squeezed and my breath from my lungs collapsed And I'm down on my fucking knees asking him why He looked at me, I looked him dead in the eyes And he smashed my face with the barrel Knocked all my teeth to the sky And uh, I heard a ch ch sound of the shot he cocked back he pressed the heart against my head and blew my fucking top back Boom. I'm still conscious, I'm breathing I'm still moving, no clue as to why I'm not dead All this blood that I'm losing And I heard my car drive off Then I looked up and seen the sun And that was all that I saw Then I heard my conscience tell me Get up, nigga, get up You're losing blood, oh my Don't fall asleep or you'll die Stay awake and move as much as possible There's no time Find some help and try to yell You ain't too well, oh God Wake up, nigga Wake up So this cat was pretending to be his boy? Yeah, he just kind of befriended him and pretended to be his homie. So and he then, get something right out and, of it? And, and the thing about it, what did he get? I mean, it's not like he could have known ahead of time he was going to get that car. That's my point. That's my point. It's like you waited. I don't know, man. It sound like it almost sounded like it was a hit. Yeah. That this was like he was setting him shit. up for a hit, right? I don't know. We got to see where this goes. Woke up at seven, my day was worse than I prayed for. Got dressed to head out and down the stairs from the eighth floor. New kid in class, he sat alone taking notes while my niggas were making jokes at the clothes that his mama paid for. Had no family, but was cool with the local gangsters, tattoos. He's at the other side now. Right, right. Okay.
Woke up at seven, my day was worse than I prayed for. Got dressed to head out and down the stairs from the A floor. New kid in class, he sat alone taking notes while my niggas were making jokes at the clothes that his mama paid for. Had no family, but was cool with the local gangsters, tattoos, and some on parole and probation for breaking rules. That life was all I knew, all I wanted to do was cruise, smoke weed and say fuck school. Wanted guidance, cause all my role models I would look up to was indicted to young dudes with no logic. I went to church to the pastor, said fuck you, now violent. And this gang that always looked out for me, vibes for me and adopted me Said they wanted to rock with me and I wanted to get down Guess there was something missing, anything comes with a price But there's only one condition, all you gotta do for initiation Is kill an innocent victim and leave them there with no witnesses or no snitches If you do that, you be down with the click And that's for life, so don't you ever think getting out of this shit And I thought about it Soaking up the vibe as I study for information Trying to choose my victim, plotting the weakest prey But today on my way to eat lunch, I approached him And told him we should be cool if only I got to know him Cause on the side of town, he would need some protection It's crazy, reckless, and phony Unless he's some sort of gangster, he only saved with the police He said his name was I dapped him up at the buses Was kinda skeptical about me at first cause he didn't trust me Then the more he got to know me, he couldn't tell what my motives were Hoping that I was sincere, but little did he know I was trying to sneak him and pop him brick Just need the perfect opportunity, I'm tired of waiting Had murder running through my head, I knew the death was coming He introduced me to his family, I was jealous of him His mama told him, make sure you look out for my son And before she could finish his sentence, I quickly just interjected And said, don't you even stress him, I got him to the fullest Even if that means bullets Bullies, gangs, AKs, and choppers till they kill us I was lying to the fucking limits Took advantage when he said he had that Honda Civic A 93 with no license plates and no registration Just thinking about every place I'ma go when I finally kill him And then I asked him for a ride around the block Some distance from where he was parking Instantly I knew my chance was coming I'm ready to drill him Then he told me let's go Hop in I dapped him up and started telling jokes The whole ride there Had him cracking up as we were getting closer He felt funny I think he knew something was coming That look he had was enough to tell me But fuck it go right And drive slow as he looked It was all abandoned and quiet Not a single person in sight and nobody standing and right when he pulled the car to the side i said right here sit still turn the car off and chill then he started to panic i told him relax then i pulled the keys out the ignition and hopped out and laughed seen his light flash in an instant i inched to his driver door then he tried to lock it he couldn't i ripped him right out of seat and then grabbed the side of my jeans and then put out the shot he cocked it twice till he screamed and it shot his arm into pieces i'm watching his blood leaking and Another shot to his chest, seen his stomach squeezing his breath and his lungs collapsing. He down on his fucking knees, asking me why. He looked at me, I looked him dead in the eyes, and I smashed his face with the barrel, knocked all his teeth to the sky. And, and then, shh, shh, sound of the shot, he cocked back. I pressed the heart against his head and blew his fucking top back. Fucking car. Fuck. Fuck. Then fuck out my way, faggot. Fuck, oh, shit. Fuck, come on. Come on, come on, come on, pick up. Pick up, pick up, pick up, come on. Pick up. Yo, 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 I did it, I killed him. I killed him. Yo, I had that nigga screaming, I just fucking blood right, everywhere. Talk too much over the phone, meet me at the spot. Alright, alright. Alright, one. Wow. That was crazy. That was, that was, that was. That was intense. That was very, very intense. To be able to tell a story from both sides. Dog. Damn. That just that whole story was an emotional roller coaster. And that was told from a true story. Did he just tell the story of somebody he knew? Right. I mean, because if the victim died, of course he can't be the victim. Yeah, well, did he? Cause right, because they never say whether he died or not, because he was crying out for help. Yeah, he said, I got to stay awake, I got to get up. I mean, we don't, we didn't get no... Cl- I mean, This story needs a part two. I feel like the cat died, but... Yeah, but I, I think this... Yeah, like this, what happened this, after this? This song needs a part two. That's a cliffhanger. That needs a part two. Dude, that just... I... Yeah, that's that, that was definitely mind-blowing right there. I was not... Ex- it needs a part two for that. I don't even got like the words, dog. <laughs> what? Great, well, great storytelling. Great storytelling. Only thing I can say, dude, is when that cat came and started pulling him out of that car, you got to fight. Yeah. You got to fight, man. Like if somebody puts you in a position where you feel like you're in danger, they're dragging you out of your own shit. 
Punch them. Fight them. I think, grab them. Rip them. Do anything you have to fucking do to make sure that you go home. I think he picked that guy because he knew he wasn't a fighter. I, most likely, that's what they do. They yeah. case people. Yeah. They case people, man. Yeah, he, he, took, he got his trust. And he, he checked in. He knew the guy was soft. And he took advantage of it. That's fucked up, bro. Wow, man. That's, that's crazy. Join him. Good shit. I, I just...